805 now this weekend marks 10 years since the deadly Bastrop complex fire. 32,000 acres were destroyed and two people died all in the blaze that lasted 55 days. KXAN's Eric Henriksen takes a closer look at the scars left behind on what's being done to restore what was lost. This fire made its own lightning. It made its own wind. It was a storm inside of a storm. 10 years ago, Michelle Bird was one of the many volunteer firefighters on the front lines as the Bastrop Complex fire tore through her community. I told somebody, I said, as long as I'm in a fire truck fighting fire, I feel confident that everything's gonna be okay. I felt like, I guess at the time, I had some kind of control, not so much. She lived in the Tahitian Village neighborhood. And when I pulled up in my driveway, it was raining fire. I'm a firefighter. I had a metal roof. I had my trees cut back. I had my yard mowed. But none of that does any good when the fire is coming from above and sideways and from under. It was too late. A decade later, the scars still jut out of the landscape, blackened reminders of that terrible week. For a good 20, 30 years, we maybe still would call it in the restoration phase. Bastrop State Park Superintendent Jamie Creasy. And this is along the creek, so those areas did not burn as intensely. While much of the park was devastated by the wildfires, other parts were saved thanks to prescribed burns that happened just weeks before the fire broke out. We had a, a mosaic of a landscape from a low intensity burn up to a really high intensity burn where we had that moonscape feel where there was, you know, no organic matter left in the park. 96% of the state park was damaged, but restoration began immediately with a team working on efforts inside and outside the park. Today, pine trees and grasses have been replanted in more than 4,000 acres and wildlife is slowly returning. But erosion is still a problem with several trails still in need of repairs before reopening. We would work on the trail, we would have a big rainfall event, it would wash everything out again. Jamie says that fully restoring the Lost Pines Forest could take 70 years. I knew it would be a kind of a, a work of love of, of restoring this forest that, um, you know, I may not fully see in my lifetime. In Bastrop, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.